Welcome back into the Sports Source. This segment brought to you by Southeast Termite and Pest Control. Temperatures are cooling down outside. That means it's time to have Southeast Termite and Pest Control come by your home to prevent bugs and wildlife from creeping into your crawl spaces, into your basement, into your attic, and more. These guys can handle it. You call them. They can do the wildlife. They can do the bugs as usual. Southeast Termite and Pest Control. I use them in my home. I trust them. Southeast Termite and Pest Control. Okay, time for three up, three down. There it is. <laughs> Willie Rank, Bob, Sunshine Sterling. Uh, happy Daffodil Daniel isn't here today. <laughs> uh, he, he broke his foot. Broke his foot. Came in last week, even though I told him not to. So this week we had to tie him down at his house. But we were thinking of you, Daniel. But if you're wondering where he is, he's a loyal guy. Uh, just couldn't be in here with a broken foot. Sterling, though, makes it in. Uh, appreciate that. <laughs> what we're going to do, and it's VFL Sterling Hinton for those who don't know. Uh, <laughs> we'll also be changing the rules a little bit today. There's one game left. There weren't a lot of three ups to talk about yesterday. In fact, I didn't know if anybody could find an up. So what we're going to do instead is, for the Vanderbilt game, whether it's what you saw yesterday or what you've seen on the season, what does Tennessee have to fix? by next Saturday afternoon if they are to beat Vanderbilt. Sterling, I start with you. I say turnovers. It's turnovers. You, 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 can't, you can't give the ball up. But uh, you know, as, as, as drastic as it turned out to be yesterday, in my opinion, it's just it's close. You know, it's like I talked about a lot in, in John's Close. Game. It's 50 it's 17. Well, well, I'm, I'm talking about it's close as far as not turning the ball over. Oh, okay. You know, because you're always in my case about continuity, but that's all it really is. I mean, it was the one mis misunderstanding between Marquez Callaway and, uh, and, and the quarterback when he threw the interception into the, the end of the half. But, you know, and then a couple of reads they had on the offensive line that was, uh, you know, just continuity, offensive continuity. And I believe once these guys get some more reps together, I think the turnover problem can be solved by the time we get to Vanderbilt. You're trying, buddy. Yeah, you're trying. Yeah, trying. I think it's there. When they get more, when they get more snaps, you're through 11 games, my well, friend. I'm, I'm, but, but now you got Chris, the quarterback. So we'll Chris see is probably going to play. And, well, we don't know who's going to play next week, but that's a big question. That's Mark. a big question. Mm -hmm. And so with him, probable. Okay. Because of the concussion situation, it's just repetition, and I think that's okay. close. I, okay. That's what I think. Will, what do they have to fix by next week? Chris doesn't come in and solve your offensive line and your defensive line losing the line of scrimmage. So they've got to solve the line of scrimmage. I mean, last on both night, sides of the ball. On both sides of the ball, last night, the line of scrimmage from start to finish, no matter what the score was, it was dominated by Missouri, and there was no doubt about it. From the very beginning of the game to the very end of the game, Missouri owned Tennessee in the front seven on both sides of the ball. That can't happen. Kentucky was a different game, and Tennessee was able to dominate on both sides of the ball, and they were able to win. But if you do let it play like that against Vanderbilt, game over. You're going to get beat by two touchdowns All right, Can I more. chime in on Will one, one very time? Quickly, yeah. Very quick. I think what happened with Kentucky game, I think Tennessee just outcoached Kentucky. Period. That's what happened yeah. with Kentucky game. Tennessee outcoached Kentucky. All right. Does that mean Tennessee got outcoached? No, it was a different situation. <laughs> okay. Like you said, no, no, I'm, right. I'm just chiming in the wheel. Yeah. For what happened. Right. Yeah. So we got cut, fix the turnovers. You say fix the offensive and defensive line. <laughs> I just said they got to be more competitive on the line. Okay. They were not competitive last yeah. week. What's, what's the third thing they have to do to beat Vanderbilt? Uh, they got to fix their mindset. We talked about how inconsistent this team is. Uh, we also talked about how bad they are. And I'm here to say we're not Vandy bad. The only way we're going to get beat by Vandy <laughs> is we come out with a bad mentality. We don't want to play. And another thing, we can't look forward to winter break. You know, we have a lot of young kids on this team. Um, when you're on the threshold of going to a bowl, some people might want to pack it in. They might not want to do the six weeks of practice. Mm -hmm. We got to get the leadership and all the seniors to get everybody inspired for this game. I'm trying to think, were you over there in 2010? Oh, I was there. I, no, 2011, 20, we lost to 2011, Kentucky. 2011. Yeah. We lost to Kentucky? Yes, yeah, so you're speaking from experience. Oh, yeah, we had some people tanking. We had some people tank. Yeah, including mm -hmm. a quarterback, I think, that oh, I yeah. was not a fan of. All right. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I could do that really well. <laughs> guys, guys made more NFL money than I'll ever see in my lifetime. All right. I also say fix tackling. Mm -hmm. The tackling True. yesterday might have been the worst I'd seen all year. Yeah. That yes. was terrible. Got to fix that. Okay. When we come back, or a little later, let me tell you, I always do this back before we do later. Later, uh, we're going to figure, we're going to talk more about the Jeremy Pruitt gambles, okay? Why does he gamble when he does? Does it make sense? These guys may think so. I don't. We'll debate that. Uh, but next, in terms of improvement, I heard this week there's been steady improvement all year long. Okay. If the November Vols could play the same games from September and October again, which ones flip? We'll discuss that next. Come on back on the Sports Source.